Okay, now the Star Wars part of this, okay, lightsabers. Now, one thing that a lot of Star Wars fans, I see this in lightsaber fans, is they're in love with Ahsoka Tano, who isn't, and Starkiller, right? And Starkiller and Ahsoka, they use reverse grip. And so, let me get these guys started here. Okay, so what you'll see is people in this grip here, right? They'll, they'll be here like this. And again, the same problems that we had with the other sword, with the, the short sword and the long sword, the, the, the broad sword, we're gonna have with this. Again, when I reach out here, I'm really minimizing the range that I have with this, as opposed to that extra reach that I have by just holding it in the orthodox position. So by holding this, the, the blaze like this and wanting to be all star killer and doing stuff like this is very impractical because while I'm here, it's very hard for this saber to do anything while I'm cutting here. It's very hard. If I do it here, look how close that is to my body and look how close that is as far as range. It really doesn't have that range. The range is greatly minimized. So for lightsaber fans, reverse grip is not a good thing for dual weapons. Even if I go one long or one orthodox, one reverse grip, it's still not a good, what am I gonna do, defend here and strike? It, it's really not a good thing for, as far as practicality. Again, if you don't believe me, go to a school that actually duels. Go to a kendo, hema school, fencing school, kali school, spar with them, use your reverse grip, see how it fares for you. Okay, so this, not exactly a great idea. Now, if we go to a uh, single sword, uh, what I have seen is people will hold it like this, and they try to do stuff like this. And again, the problem with this is it gives, it telegraphs big time. First of all, I can only strike here, here, and here. So right now I'm only coming on the, uh, striking from the right side of my body. In order to strike on the left side, I have to bring the blade over here to do that. And you'll notice I really have to contort my body in order for the blade tip to go anywhere near the center line. This can open me big time, it can open me up. Whereas with an orthodox grip, it doesn't take much for me to get both sides. Okay, so again, from a side position, I got this angle here, but from here, look at how limited my range is. Whereas if I take the blade orthodox position, I've got much more range and more flowing control of that blade. So for reverse grip for the lightsaber, again, reverse grip is not a good idea if you're actually dueling. Now, if you wanna do it for show, for stage choreography and things like that, go for it. But if you're actually gonna you know, duel with these, you know, of course, always with proper safety masks and gloves and other equipment, Reverse grip, you're gonna get hit a lot more than you're gonna hit others. Uh, and like I always say, you can disagree with me all you want, you totally have that right, that's awesome, exercise that freedom of choice. But have that freedom of choice from experience. Go out there and actually you know, spar with people who, who know what they're doing and see how it fares for you. Anyway, that's it, happy sabering.